Yo, what's up guys, it's Technology Hill back here and today in this video, I'll be demonstrating you how can you update your motherboard's BIOS. I'm currently running a Gigabyte B450M which has the BIOS version from September 2018 which is pretty much old because it's currently 2024 and my BIOS version so old that it would not even support AMD 3rd gen processors. Like I am planning for a CPU upgrade within the next few weeks. So yes, it's really important that I update my BIOS. And a BIOS update will also help me with my system stability and bug fixes from the BIOS settings. It might also even add some new features to your BIOS settings. There are chances for that as well. So it's gonna be really simple. Simply head up to your browser, search for your motherboard's model. So I'll just type in the complete model, the Gigabyte B450M DS3 Edge. And then you should find the first link which will take you to the official manufacturer site. And here you can see that the motherboard looks exactly same. but there is something rev1.x so now what is this and how do you check for it let me just tell you rev basically stands for revision so some motherboard models get revision updates and the version can change from 1.0 1.1 1.2 etc so just go to your motherboard and check on the bottom left of the motherboard's corner you will find the rev version written so it's 1.0 and on the browser this version is for 1.x so x can be any number despite of its value, it could be 1.0, it could even be 1.9. So it's absolutely correct in my case. So now I'll just head up to the support tab and from here, I'll scroll down and there you can see a section called BIOS. From here, you can basically download the firmware updates for your motherboard. You can see that all the firmware release versions are listed here. So you don't have to install all of these. You just need to download the latest one. You can see that the latest one is F65 from 2023 and I'm currently running the F2 from August 2018. So yes, it's a really long journey and I haven't updated my BIOS for over five years. So yes, it's going to be really simple to install. Simply click on the download button. Once you have the file downloaded, get that file extracted out. This firmware file, file extension is something really weird. Don't try to manually open it up. Once it has been extracted, now you are going to need a USB drive to create your firmware boot drive. The USB drive should meet at least two requirements. First, the size should not be above 32 GB. You are free to use a drive of 256 MB, but nothing above 32 GB. And the USB format should be default FAT32. So once you are ready with this USB drive, simply format it up, head back to the folder where you extracted your BIOS firmware, copy it and simply paste it into a USB drive. Remember, it should be into the root directory. You don't have to create any folder or anything. And with that, the bootable USB drive for the BIOS update is ready. Now, all you need to do is simply restart and head up to your BIOS. In case on a Gigabyte motherboard, you might prefer using the Fastboot app and simply enter your BIOS from there. Once you reach your BIOS, there is a good chance that you will be on the easy mode. So on the top, you can see there is a button called Classic. Click on that and there you are in the advanced BIOS settings. So now on the bottom, you have this little arrow where you can see this Q flash button. Simply click on this Q flash button and you will reach to this section where you have the option to update BIOS and save BIOS. On the left side, you can also see the current version of BIOS that is currently present onto your motherboard. So simply click on the update BIOS button. From the bottom, select the USB drive. In my case, it's a SanDisk. Select the file and then click on this next arrow on the right part of your screen. And as soon as you press the next arrow, it should start updating. But in my case, an error popped up saying invalid BIOS image. So that's basically happening because I'm updating from the BIOS version 2018 all the way to BIOS 2023. So there is a minor update in the middle, which I'll have to figure out which version it is. I'll have to install that particular version and then come back and install the latest version. So now the challenge is that how do we figure out which particular BIOS version we need to install before installing the latest one? So that is going to be really simple. Just head up to the list of the BIOS version that shows up onto the official site. And there you can find that some of the versions have something written in red under their description. The first one can be seen here with the update F50. And after that, there is another one with update F41. So under 41, you can see it's written before you update to F41, read the description for F40. And on 40, it's written if you're using the Q flash for updating your BIOS, make sure you have updated your BIOS to F32 before F40. So basically, it means that the BIOS version F32, it has a fix in it, which is going to recognize the modern BIOS versions. So you'll have to install F32 and then you can proceed to install any later version of the BIOS. 
So yes, repeat the same process, download the BIOS firmware version for F32 and once downloaded, extract the firmware file out of the archive and place it into a USB drive. Make sure to delete the previous one and replace it with the new one. And once you are ready with everything, simply restart and reach your BIOS. And once you are into your BIOS, head back to the QFlash section. You can see that the current version is F2. So now we'll go to the update BIOS section, select our USB drive. And from the USB drive, we can select our file for the B450M. You can see that the file extension is the BIOS version that says F32. So we'll simply double click the file and then you can see that the file has been verified and we are getting the option press to start. So just start with the BIOS update progress and wait. It will hardly take around four to five minutes, not longer than that. One thing that you need to keep in mind is that you should have a power backup because if you are going to update your BIOS without any power backup, if there is any sort of voltage fluctuation and your computer turns off by chance, then your motherboard will get bricked and there will be no possible way to get it back to working again. So yes, it is a really risky process. Make sure you have a good power backup, only then proceed with the BIOS update. And if you complete this correctly, then your system will automatically restart. And once it reboots, you can like simply check in your system configuration settings, or you can also come back to your BIOS and you can check in there that your BIOS has been updated from the previous version to the version F32 like in my case. So we have now updated our QFlash tool. So now it should be able to recognize the latest BIOS firmware files. So now we'll go again, download the latest BIOS firmware file. That's F65 from the official Gigabyte website. Place it into our USB drive. Then again, restart, come back to this QFlash tool and repeat the entire process again. And this time it's going to be exactly the same that we did previously. It would simply recognize the latest file again this time. So once it completes, it would again take around four to five minutes for the BIOS update process. And once it's done, your PC will restart. Now you will boot back into your machine. And from here, now if you head up to the system information settings, or you can also check it from the BIOS itself, you can see that the BIOS version has been updated to F65. And the BIOS date is again from 2023. So yes, that means we have successfully completed the process for our BIOS update. It was a bit complex because I'm updating from 2018 to 2023. So if you are also doing the same thing, you might face this issue and you might have to go through multiple updates. But in case you keep updating your motherboard on a regular basis, or if you have bought your motherboard recently, then it might come with an update pre-installed. So yes, that's all for this video. Hope you found this interesting and helpful. If so, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe as we keep coming up with such videos. Thanks for watching.